Emma Massingale, horse trainer and adventurer. Hi everyone, so by popular request I'm going to do a how to teach your horse to sit video. Now there's a few things that you need to be aware of when you want to teach a horse to sit is that A, it doesn't suit every horse. For example, if your horse has got any sort of back trouble, eh, don't teach them, okay? If they've got any sort of trouble with their hocks, mm, no, don't bother teaching them either. You know, it's just not worth it. It's meant to be a fun addition to your training. Um, it's not meant to be something that's going to cause them any sort of physical discomfort. Horses that don't have any back pain, don't have any hock trouble, I find sit really easily and it's actually something they quite enjoy. Uh, a couple of my Connie's, Barney uh, in particular, if he takes one look at the beanbag, he's there like that and trying to sit on it. So it's actually really fun. Um, and also I like to add, yes, we can do that to my training. So whenever I've got a horse in front of me, I keep adding things to that pot of yes, we can. And that leads on quite nicely to prerequisites before teaching a horse to sit, okay? You do need to have the right kind of horse stood in front of you, okay? And I don't mean in the physical sense. So before I got to the point of teaching a horse to sit, they're already answering my questions with, yeah, I can do that. You know, they are trying to problem solve the question that I put in front of them. And that doesn't matter whether it's going over a tarpaulin, jumping over a fence, uh, loading in a lorry, going in water, you know, all these things. You should have all those really, really basic ones with your horse going, yeah, 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 I can do that. Okay, and that's really, really important because if your horse isn't answering your questions with, yes, I can, he's going, or I can work it out, and he's going, mm, maybe, oh, that's a bit scary, or oh, I'm a bit defensive with my body and I'm a bit rigid and I'm a bit stiff. Um, and they're not looking to problem solve, they're looking to go, oh, I don't think I can. You know, that's not the right type of attitude to approach teaching a horse to sit. And if you've got a horse that's in that position, it doesn't mean they can't learn to sit, it really doesn't. It just means that you need to go back a little bit and maybe watch fern video number one because you'll see how I introduce teaching a horse to answer the questions that you put to them with a, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so it is really important that your horse is in that um, mindset before you approach anything like sitting, okay? Okay, so the next thing is about what we're going to teach our horses to sit on. Now, I personally really like using a bean bag, okay, just because it's portable um, and it's really soft, it's really comfortable and the horses seem to sit really well on it. But if you don't have that and you, or you don't want to invest in one, that's no problem at all. Uh, a straw bale or uh, like a couple of hay bales work just as well and they're absolutely fine, um, no problem at all. Uh, if you do want a bean bag, you can check out on my website and you can order one. These ones are really good because they're outdoor bean bags so they can cope with a bit of rain, they don't disintegrate. And also when the horse's heavy weight sits on them, they don't pop. <laughs> this one's oh, a good three years old now, and a lot of my horses sat on it a lot of times and it's still holding up to the job. Okay, the next thing we need to think about is where we're gonna do this, okay? Now I'm outside in the round pen, um, and the reason for me being out here is because I've got this solid fence behind, okay? And I've pushed my bean bag up to the fence because that's gonna help me, okay? Now, if you're new to doing this for the first time, then I would probably recommend doing it in a stable where you can use the guideline, like the walls of the stable. You can put your bean bag in the corner or your bales of straw, whatever you're gonna use, in the corner of the stable, and that's gonna help you to be able to be accurate with your horse, okay? It is really important that they don't ever miss the bean bag or the, the bale and fall off the side because I think then you're like, eh, their trust in you is gonna go down. So don't wait for something to go wrong. Make absolutely certain that it's not going to before you even ask, okay? So I'm using this fence here. And it's also a really good idea to have a friend um, be around to help you, okay? Because it's, it is quite handy just to have someone to be able to fluff up the bean bag, um, you know, just to give you an extra pair of hands. And also it's nice to share the experience with someone because it is really fun. The first time they sit, they look really funny. Uh, okay, I think we're ready to get started. Okay, so the only two real things you need for teaching a horse to sit are um, one, they need to be obviously brave, and we've talked about a bit about that already. Um, but the other is also you need to be able to steer them into the right spot because there's nothing more demotivating or scary to a horse than if they were to sit and, and fall off the edge of whatever you've asked them to sit on. You know, for example, if you ask them to sit on the bean bag and you haven't got any steering to be able to just correct them, um, they could you know, slide off and that would be frightening and then your sit would have gone completely. So really important exercise just to practice. Just practice bringing your horse's head a bit like a rudder. Um, so if I bring his head this way and then ask him back, you see how he can easily step his hindquarters over. Okay, I'm going to do the same the other way, good boy. So bring his head this way and then his bum should go over that way nicely. And then also back up. Okay, so you want to make sure that that's really good. I'll just turn his bum directly to the camera so you can see that in on a different angle. Okay, 
So I want to steer his backside over that way. I'm going to bring his head towards me this way and then he'll step his hindquarters away that way. If I bring his head this way, then he's going to step his hindquarters over that way. Okay, so I can still work on my back. So if you imagine he's backing up to whatever it is I want him to sit on, um, I can just fine tune that by just pushing his little head over. It's a lot easier way than having to come around the side and you know, physically push his hindquarters over. So definitely, definitely practice that one up first. All right, so today I'm using uh, Evanos. Some of you might um, recognize the name. This is the pony who I started on the island uh, a few years ago now. He's a really great pony. He's turned out to be really brave and courageous and he's a great member of my team. He's also really dominant. He is the leader of the herd. The other ponies are all quite scared of him. <laughs> he's quite a big personality, shall we say. Um, but I'm using him today because he hasn't done much sitting. He's like sat, I think, once or twice before, um, but he hasn't done much. So it'll be a completely refreshed experience for him. And he certainly hasn't sat since oh, well over a year now. So um, yeah, it'd be good to show how, how I go about it. And he probably won't do it right the first time. So that'll be great to share with everyone as well. Um, so just to recap, Ebbs is definitely a, a yes horse, you know, if he's done a lot of things. And if I ask a question of him or I present him with a challenge, then he answers me with, how do I work it out? You know, it's a bit like a puzzle, you know, you want them to be going, yeah, 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 I can work it out, come on, I'll show you. Um, and that's how I see what I do with horses, okay? So I mean, for me, teaching horses to sit is part of my job. I teach them to sit because to earn a living, I make commercials and videos and things like that. Uh, and it's been part of what we do, basically. Um, so just the same way as a dressage rider might ask for a walk to counter transition, my ponies learn to sit on a beanbag. Um, so just make sure that when you're asking it, that you're asking for the right reasons and that you're not going to abuse it by doing it over and over again, okay? It is something that, you know, it's really fun to do, but just remember that, you know, horses are amazingly giving animals, so we always want to respect that and, and not ask too much of them ever. <laughs> okay, so now we've checked out that we've got a bit of steering using his head like a rudder, um, so we can make sure that we can fine-tune that direction of the hindquarters when it comes to positioning him onto the beanbag or onto the bale of straw. Next thing is, if you're using a beanbag, now they do make a bit of a rustle, okay? So you want to make sure that your horse is totally okay with that. So make sure you've shown him the beanbag and he's heard the noise, <sighs> heard the noise plenty of times. You know, make sure he's really confident with it. What you don't want to do is for them to get near the beanbag, to feel it for the first time, it make a funny noise and then be like, no, thank you very much. Hey, so just, you know, take a bit of time. The best thing about all these things that you teach horses is it's meant to be fun, you know? We're supposed to be enjoying this whole process. So don't be in too much of a hurry. Just try and enjoy each and every stage. And if you can break it down into a little bit easier, a little bit more simple for them to understand and to succeed at the task, then by all means, just do that. Like, why not? So make sure he's totally fine with the noise. Yeah, turkeys as well. <laughs> okay. Now we're kind of ready to introduce the idea to him, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn him right around. Do, do, do. All right then, so the first step is obviously getting him to approach the beanbag. Um, I've got just a normal head collar on him here and I put my hand on the halter and I'm just going to ask him to step back. Good boy. And what we're looking for, good boy, back. Good lad. Is hopefully, good boy is I want him just to touch the beanbag, okay? Good there, good boy. So as soon as he touches it, I, oop, good boy, that's it. I quit, there, good boy. And ask him forward again. Okay, and you might find that when you first ask your horses to do this, they touch it and then just swing their bum right away. Okay, and that would be totally okay. You just have to keep repeating the exercise until they touch it and stay completely straight. And that's where, you know, that fine tuning with the head collar can help and also, you know, it's good to have a second person there as well if you want to, just to help guide them if you want to. You know, it's, it's entirely personal choice. You don't have to have somebody to help you, but you know, it can be a bit easier. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna bring him forward again. And I would repeat this at least five times, you know? So ask him to back up again. I just want him to feel it, okay? And not swing his quarters away. So there, there, he's touched it. Good boy, good boy. And again, he's a horse that's answering my questions with, I can work this out, okay? but. Don't underestimate, some horses will touch that and go, Ooh, no, no, thank you very much. Um, so you do have to repeat and repeat and repeat, okay? Until they're totally okay with it. All right, I'm gonna bring it forward again, do it once more. Can you see that time? Kind of, I'm asleep. <laughs> uh, you can see that time he didn't uh, waver at all. So I'm gonna ask him back again. Back, good boy, good boy. 
again, you want to do these things really slowly, you know, don't be in a hurry. The faster you go, the, the faster you're going to make a mess of it, you know, and the faster it's all going to go horribly wrong. All right, good. So if you have a look at him there, you can see, good boy, Ebste. So you can see his setup. He's in position. He's bang smack in the middle of the beanbag and he's ready to lean back, okay? And that's going to be our next stage, okay? What we want him to do is to what I call get a lean on, all right? And what I want him to do is to feel the beanbag up behind him, but not feel the desire to start climbing backwards, okay? And that's where the challenge and the success of whether your sit is actually going to work or not comes from, okay? Because if they start to climb, it gets much, much harder to retrain them to then feel it and sit down, okay? So it's much easier to stop it at this stage and get it right the first time, okay? All right, so we're going to introduce that getting a lean on thing going, okay? Now, I want you to just take a mental picture, guys, of what my horse here is looking like, all right? He's in the middle of the object I want him to sit on. He looks half asleep. <laughs> you know, his head is down. He's very relaxed. He's very calm. This is the attitude we need from a horse that's about to sit, okay? If they've got their head up, they're worried, they're fidgeting, you know, it ain't going to work, guys. Like, you know, I can dress it up any which way, but it just isn't going to work, all right? So, calm, relaxed, be chilled. Um, and also, don't be afraid to break it up over a couple of days, all right? I've had horses in the past that I've taught to sit. And just by getting to that stage where they're back up and actually touch the thing that you want them to sit on, do that for a couple of days. And then on day three, they just go whoop, and sit straight down. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with if your horse is finding that stage particularly difficult to just take a couple of days. Just go, OK, yeah, that was all I wanted. Fab. Great. Go back in the field, OK, and then come back to it, OK, because that way it's never going to go really wrong, is it? They're only going to build their confidence and build their confidence. All right. So let's get this lean on now then. So what I'm going to do, and this bit is important, OK, is I'm going to hold on to my halter quite tight, OK? It's not tight on him. It's just i am got it quite tight. All right. Sausage dog. <laughs> it's going to help us out. Now I'm going to put my hand on his chest here. OK, and now I'm going to ask him to lean. All right. So there you can see, OK, I want his head to come up. And you can see he's starting to lean back. Okay, there and then rather than letting him just drop the moment he felt that lean okay i then had enough hold, pull on the halter and i just pulled him forward again okay the reason for doing that is because once they get to a point where they're not going to climb and the only other real option is to actually sit what happens is it's then actually further down away from them than you think it is, okay? So what happens is they get to, well, I've seen people do, they get to the point where they're not gonna climb, they're gonna sit, the horse starts to lean, and then there's like, it's like an abyss back here, okay? So the horse then drops and frightens himself, okay? And that's what we're trying to avoid. So I'm trying to build the confidence in, in the lean and the leaning back. So by holding quite a lot of weight here in the head collar, it stops him from that feeling of, that he's got to actually drop into the abyss, okay? Let's do that again. Okay, so we're gonna try that exact same thing again. So I've got my halter quite tight, I've got my position ready to pull him forward again, and I'm gonna get a bit of a lean on again, okay? So I want you watching. So I'm gonna wait till he starts to lean, starts to lean. He's thinking about climbing, now he's leaning, good. And now he's come forward again. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good fella. And I wanna make him feel that he fit, I want to make him understand that he's a winner in that situation. So that is exactly the behaviour I want him to do. Okay, because if we can do that, every time he's going to try a little bit harder for me. If I just leave him to plop, which is what he's going to do, he is going to sit, no doubt. And that, this is the same with the horse that's never sat before. They do exactly the same thing. They get to that point and then they're just going to plop. But we, I cannot stress enough, if you let them just fall into the abyss and go plop, it can really like make them wonder whether that was a good idea because it's a bit frightening. Okay, so definitely get this bit going really well, okay? Okay, this I'm going to go for the sit. So I'm going to ask him to back again. But I'm still keeping a definite hold on my head collar, okay? So I'm not going to let him all hold all his own weight. So there you go, get a bit of a lean. Where he's climbing, when he starts to climb, I just lift his head a little bit to stop him from trying that, that option, okay? Again, I'm, I'm not putting any pressure on his head here. I've just got hold of it so that I can help him out. Nice and gently, ask for the lean. Ask for the lean, lean, but I'm keeping a bit of, bit of up, but I'm still allowing him to sit. Good, good boy, good boy. So I kept a bit of pressure on the halter so that his weight would go down nice and slowly, all right, and that he wouldn't actually just drop onto the beanbag. Now he's sitting, okay? Want to make sure he feels like a million dollars. It's like, yeah, good boy, yes. I'm really smiling, you know, horses definitely 100% recognize your facial expressions. So making this whole exercise 
super fun and loads of smiling, making them feel clever. Oh, you're such a good boy, FZ. You know, they're going to want to try that little bit harder for us. Okay, good boy. Now he's parked his little butt on that beanbag. Okay, I'm not going to worry if he wants to get up. I'm not going to try and hold him there, stop him, make him stay, okay? The length of time that they sit is entirely up to them, okay? Because if you try and force it, like you make them sit, you can't, okay? They're just going to lean against you, they're going to push against you and jump straight up. And also, it takes a bit of extra strength in the back, I think, from that angle to be able to sit like that, okay? So just allow them that freedom. It doesn't, it doesn't mean if they jump straight up that they're never going to sit again. We're just going to do it again, you know? And that way they get more and more confidence. And also they're always going to trust the decisions that you make for them. So it's not just about teaching him to sit on a beanbag today. It might be teaching him to lie down tomorrow, teaching him to I don't know, load on a boat the next day. Well, you know, whatever crazy ideas you might want to dream up for your horse and you as a partnership, doing every stage in this way where you're just building and building confidence, they're always going to answer you with a, yeah, 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 I can solve that problem. Okay? Looks totally stressed. <laughs> Good boy, MZ, well done. Okay, so let's get him up, all right? Try and get him up anyway. He looks half asleep there. Come on, MZ. Up you come. Good boy. I'm just trying to push himself up. Good boy. And I'm going to bring him right away from it, all right? You can see on the beanbag the indent he made. You know, they're quite heavy horses. <laughs> Good boy, stay there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reposition him. Reposition my beanbag. You know, don't leave anything to chance, all right? You don't just because you sat on it once assume that it's all right. Make sure at this early stage that it's completely set up for him to succeed. So it's nice, there's a nice little ridge there. And sometimes actually, you know, the bales are quite nice because they are a bit more rigid. You just gotta make sure that you get them in the right position. Okay, so now I'm gonna get, get him ready and get him to go again. Good boy. Good boy. Turn him right around. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Swing him around, good boy. <clears throat> okay, so we're in position to have another go. Uh, and don't be worried if the second time you ask them they might be a little bit more like fish a little bit more unsure because it can be a bit of a weird sensation the first couple of times just take the time it takes and get yourself organized so there where he's starting to swing his bum i'm just going to bring his head over this way see he'll just cause that hind leg to step right over really really simple making sure he's in the right position we don't want to hurry anything at this stage okay wants to be really really slow methodical process good boy Okay, and again then let's ask him to sit. So I've got hold of my halter again. I'm going to ask him to lean. I'm just going to ask him to keep going back. But I'm not going to ask him to keep walking backwards. I want him to lean. So lift his head a little and then keep a little forward pressure on the halter and a little back there until he feels it and just sits his down. There, good boy. Till he sits right down. Good boy. Good boy. Again, really important that you don't just go, yeah, my horse is sitting and let go. Okay, because you will frighten them, all right? Good boy, Evzy. Good boy. So just gonna let him sit there and let him chillax a little bit. Good boy. Well done. And a good boy. So it really doesn't matter what you ask them to sit on, as long as what you're asking them to sit on is up to carrying their weight. Um, if, for example, I didn't have the fence behind me, the beanbags do have a tendency to move, you know, if they, especially if they start to sort of climb at the beginning when they're learning. So, um, you know, just make sure that you reposition it each time. And I would say if you're teaching a horse at the beginning and this is new to them, definitely have a fence. If not, have a stable wall as well, just so you can guide them that little bit easier. All right, cool. Uh, the first couple of times I would do this, I'd ask them to do it five times in a row. Really, really straightforward. Just park it, wait till they're looking nice and relaxed and happy. Maybe ask them to get up and repeat five times. Then that way, you know, for, for the rest of their life, they'll always know how to sit. Horses never forget anything. So if you make it a really good experience and a fun thing to do, there's no reason why they can't sit every day of the week. Okay, so I've just repositioned for my third time. I realised I didn't sort of mention about using treats um, and there would be nothing wrong at all in giving your horse a pony nut or a bit of carrot for sitting on the beanbag or sitting for the first time. I think that would be totally fine. Um, Evs, I don't feel needs it um, because he's, you know, really, really happy to problem solve, happy to do the task. Uh, and being a sort of lead horse that he is, quite aggressive, I kind of don't really want that in our relationship. <laughs> I don't really want him to think of me as somebody who gives him food for doing things. You know, I want it to be a, like a partnership and he is pretty dominant in the field. So I'm okay with leaving them out. Um, just a little stroke is okay. 
Um, but yeah, if you want to use it on your horse, totally fine, no problem with that at all. Definitely not someone who goes, you mustn't use treats or you must use treats. Just do whatever feels right, you know? If you feel like your horse is making a huge effort about this, you know, and is really, really trying hard, then there's absolutely nothing wrong at all in giving him a treat. So you can see here, Evs have slightly missed, so I'm just gonna reposition. There, just really fine tuning. Good boy, now I'm gonna to start to add in that word cue, sit because I want him obviously eventually to be able to do this at liberty. Good boy, holding the halter. So we've got a bit of a lean on. Good boy. So I'm just bracing myself so I could help him out. Good boy, lean, lean, lean. Lean there, that's a good example, you can see him. Good boy. Good lad, and then release once he's comfortable. Good boy, hold well on buddy. Good boy, you're so clever. You're so clever, yes you are. Really, really clever. Clever, clever boy. Good boy, good boy, well done. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. Again, just leave him for as long as he wants to sit there. I always would prefer it that I got them up, but if they try and get up, never ever stop them, okay? Good boy. <clears throat> you notice sometimes that they sit in different ways. So there he's got a bit of a, a crouch on with his back legs, and, but he has got his front legs nice and solid. Sometimes when they're learning, you know, they get it a bit wrong with the front legs and their front legs kind of go at a bit of a funny angle. You know, if you think, oh, that's not going to last a long time, you know, sit, get them to sit, then ask them to get them up before you see something going wrong. So I've had them before where they've sat and they've gone sort of slippy off to the side slightly and you think, oh, if they stay there too long, they might actually like move and fall off. So I've just gone, yeah, again, you sat, well done, now get up again. <laughs> um, I think you're better to do that than, than let something go wrong. Good boy, Evs. Good lad. Good booty. It's cold today, isn't it? Hey. Eh? Alrighty. Let's get him up. <coughs> Good boy. So, let's ask him up. Up, up. Come on, Evs. Good boy. Up. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. Well done, buddy. Well done. There you go. Okay, you're getting a lean on. So, you want to see him not scrambling. Get a lean on. Good boy. Lean, lean, lean. And plop. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so you can see where he's sitting here. You can see, this is the nice thing about using a bean bag is that they do, like it does sort of hug their bum a little bit and it's a nice bit kinder on the hocks. But you find with a bale of straw, um, which is absolutely fine, it's just a slightly different type of sit because they tend to leave their the hind legs have to come forward a bit more and you often get one hind leg actually in the air there. Um, so he's got both his hind legs on the floor and it's easy for him to just push straight up and get up out of that position. Um, so I do think it's easier, like long term, on a bean bag, but um, yeah, it's totally fine on a bale of straw. Just expect a slightly different posture in the sit. You will have probably one leg a little bit in the air. Right, and for a bigger horse or so, let's just talk about the height thing here. I've got quite a big bean bag. Um, you know, in some ways it's a bit too big for him, but because I've got a couple of really big horses as well, like 18 hand horses, I use this bean bag because I can move it around. If you've got a little mini, obviously, <laughs> you know, you're gonna need something a lot, lot lower. So you wanna make sure that when, when you're getting it ready, that the bean bag or whatever you're gonna ask them to sit on comes just about in line with their hock, yeah? Wants to start off in line with their hock or a little bit above, ideally. So you might need a couple of bales of straw um, or a couple of bales of hay or just that right size bean bag, okay? So that went really, really well with Evan. I was really happy with that and a prime example of how horses never forget anything. Um, obviously he was really, really uh, amenable to the task. He worked it out and remembered what it was. Here you can see he's like nodding off there. He's perfectly happy and chilled. And that really is you know, what we're looking for and certainly what I'm looking for. I want all my horses to be able to answer the questions that I ask them with a yes I can and I can do it in a totally chilled out, really relaxed and happy way. And that, it, you know, for me, I, all I see here is a horse that's going to be able to go on and do that at liberty and in any situation anywhere, basically. So the next step now is to teach him to do it, obviously, without needing the fence as guidance, because that really does help us out quite a lot. So we're going to move the beanbag now into the middle so that we've got a bit more options. And he's got a bit more of an opportunity to say, hmm, no, maybe I might not want to, or just go round it. So hopefully we can have a look at that and see how we might address that should that problem arise. <laughs> So I'm just going to pull it away from the edge and I'll show you how I like to position it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so this beanbag, if I put it this way, it's a little bit too low for a beginning size, F size beginner sitter. So I want it to be a little bit higher. So I'm just going to roll it up a bit. So it's a little bit bigger, bigger for him. And this way it is a little bit too big. So, <laughs> so, 
not one size fits all with this. Um, but the ones that we're selling, we're going to sell on the website are um, a bit more of a, you know, standard size. So you can just play with them and wriggle them around till you've got the right spot. So I'm just going to make a little bit of a ledge there. And it is really important to get all this positioning right. I know it seems like I'm, maybe seems like I'm faffing around, <laughs> but I don't want it to go wrong, you know. Once something's gone wrong and you've lost the horse's confidence, you have to go back and sort it all out. So get it right the first time, you know. Take a little bit extra time and make sure it's right. Okay, so now Evans has got the opportunity, he can go piss past it now, can't he? Um, and also, if you wanted to climb, doo -doo -doo, he could climb straight over the back of it. So those are options that we don't want him to find, but they are there now. <laughs> if you found you were in that situation, I should say it's not. If you found you were in that situation where you got it really good up against the fence, and then they started, you got it away from the fence, and they started climbing, you know, with their back legs starting to climb over it, um, just go back and put it against the fence, and or and do that a few times and then get a kind person or friend to just stand behind it here and just rub them on the bum so that they know the idea is to look for the other options you know not the climbing over option all right do 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 right so we can position you come here ribs so i'm going to say the word sit now because i want him to know start to realise that that word is associated with the action. So sit, good boy. There we go, starting to get right in position. Good boy, back. That's it, that's it. Sit. So there he's going a little bit wrong, so I'm just going to use his head like a rudder. But there you go, perfect. You saw there, he's just stepped his hindquarters. So I've got an amazing amount of control over his hindquarters, considering I'm at the other end, okay? So again, just holding, so I've got a bit of a lean on. Good, good. There, don't want him to climb, I want him to sit. Good, sit, sit, there, good boy, good boy, good boy. So that time, I did let him like plop a little bit more. You can see how the beanbag has rolled back a little bit. So it takes a little bit more confidence, okay? So if you haven't done, you know, if you haven't got a really good going against the fence, don't progress to without the fence at this stage. Keep going for a few days up against the fence or a few sessions. So they've really got that good, and then it shouldn't be any drama, just like it's not with Evs. Good, nice. Ideal. Yeah, so he's like properly sat now, which is nice. And I don't really like them sitting much lower than that. I think that's kind of like a nice angle. It, to me, it looks nice and easy. Um, oh, and actually, look, you can see here how he's got where we sit. You can see he's got his little feet are off the floor now. So that's that's like what happens on a um, on a straw bale, you know. So you can see how his angle is nice here. He's not too steep an angle, um, and his little feet are. He's actually resting his hocks sitting on his properly on his bum and his little feet are off the floor there's nothing underneath there so when he comes to getting up he's going to have to put a little bit more effort in and heave himself up good boy nice good what i'm really loving about evs today is that he's just like it's quite windy and it's really really cold uh, is that he's just like really super laid back you know he's really really calm he's really relaxed and he's using his body in a way that is designed to succeed at different things okay so if I was going to teach him to lie down, I'd like him in this attitude and in this mindset. You know, his body's like, yay, I can do this. Um, and, you know, that does take a bit of work and a bit of practice. Um, not all horses are like that straight away, but all horses 100% can become like that, okay? I've got horses from this big to 18 too that all sit exactly the same, the same way. So anyway, that's my video and I hope you enjoy it and good luck and make sure you tag me in your Facebook photos when you get your horses to sit. Thanks very much.